We would go into Nick's studios at Britannia Row, just the three of us, and just jam about and see what happens. And that started the whole ball rolling. With the release of Pink Floyd The Later Years, a massive new box set from one of the greatest bands the world has ever seen, comes your chance to hear the real story of this legendary time in a whole new light. Hello, I'm David Gilmore, and welcome to The Lost Art of Conversation, a Pink Floyd podcast, coming soon on all podcast platforms. It was a big, scary thing, putting that tour together. I was scared. Throughout this series, we'll delve into four key elements of Pink Floyd's creative output from 1987 to today. The studio. In the 80s, there was a mass of new keyboard synthesizers, all this stuff. We embraced a lot of this new technology with massive enthusiasm. The artwork. I, um, I drew a picture myself of a bed, which was empty, and I said to Storm, I'm thinking something about, you know, this, this line from a song, the vision of an empty bed. And he said, yeah, okay, but how about we have 500 empty beds? The live performances. We rented a hangar on Toronto Airfield for production rehearsals, i.e. a whole show. Jets going over our heads. An aeroplane hangar, yeah. <laughs> Huge, massive. But you've got to get a massive stage in it and you've got to be able to run your whole show. And of course the security is very good. <laughs> you have to go through sort of passport control to get to your rehearsals every day. And the unreleased material in the new box set. Let's talk about airships. Not a promotional tool many bands utilize. <laughs> the thing I remember most about it was going for a ride in it over Miami Beach and looking down from it at the beach, seeing all these people swimming and all the sharks swimming amongst them. And these people didn't know, but if the people who were swimming could see what I could see, they'd have been out of that water like a shot. <laughs> there were just dozens. <laughs> this is The Lost Art of Conversation, a Pink Floyd podcast, coming soon on all podcast platforms. The only time I've ever seen Pink Floyd live was the encore in Montreal Stadium when I was so pissed off that I refused to play the encore and went out to the mixing desk to watch whatever encore it was with Snowy playing the part. So that was the only sort of moment I saw a bit of Pink Floyd live. One of the few disadvantages of being in Pink Floyd is that you've never seen Pink Floyd live. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>